Hello and welcome back to the fifth video of Python practice program series. We have already completed four Python practice programs. Now this is the fifth program and in this program we are going to see how to use class and function mainly and to use the class and function in Python we are going to take the example of areas. So different shapes will have different syntax for calculating the area. So we will have three different functions which will take required input and return the area. So how to use return in Python, return keyword and what is the use of return keyword that also we are going to focus and discuss in this in this video. So the first step we will create a class for shapes area and then we will create three different functions which will calculate the area. Once class is done, then we will call those functions by passing the input parameters or input argument. If you are not aware what is the parameter and what is the argument, you can I have already explained in the last video. You can find the link of uh, the playlist in the description and you can see right now on your screen what is the parameter and what is the argument. So a function we already know. I will just re-explain the parameter. So when you are defining the function, that time you have to explain like which all inputs will be required. So that time that input will be called as parameter or it might be output also. And once you have defined the function, when you are calling the function, you have to pass that information or that input to the function so that and many times function is also called method so that method or to that function is same. So when you will pass the input to that method, method will perform the code inside it and then give you a output or sometimes it can just perform the action will not give any output. All right. We have already seen four programs and this is the fifth program today. Please uh, hit the like button if you like the content of this video and you, if you really want to appreciate my work. So let's just start. So here I am on my code editor and we have already completed these many programs. You can go to the playlist link in description. So first of all, we will declare one class and then we will define three functions here. So BEF is the keyword to define the fun function in Python. And then you can get this kind of suggestion that the method area can be static. So for now you ignore this message. I will explain in a different, I have explained in a different video what is the static method and what is the class method. All right, so this is, we have taken two different parameters here. And then we have taken one, we have created one variable to which we have assigned the length into width is the area of a rectangle. All right, now same way, we will create the function for area of cube and area of circle. So here is the method in front of you for area of uh, cube. So in cube, you have to length, width and height. You read three parameters and we have to declare three parameters here. Now I am calling these as parameters because we are just defining the functions. When I will call this, I will, when I will call the function, we will refer them as arguments. All right. So I just want to use a uh, pi because the syntax for circle area is pi r square. So in Python, we have one uh, class that is math for math class. We will use the function here. So here I have uh, written the code for the function of area of circle math dot pi and then r square. So two times I have written r right now. Maybe we will explain in uh, these mathematical things in a separate video. Now we have to call this function. So Remember that we are we have more videos to come, then we will see more in detail. But right now I want to keep this basic. And I want to focus more on Python functions and how to call Python functions with parameter. First of all, we have to call the class or we have to create the instance of class. Instance as a INST of class of uh, class. So which is my class? You can create any variable shapes area and by using this instance or, or the object of the class now you can call any of the function of this class so the what is the meaning of return so when you will call this function it will take these inputs and it will give back this information to you whatever is the output of that function 
all right so let's see how does it work so what i will do is i will call the function inside print so let's say area of so when you call it you have to give the class instance instance of class dot now you can see all three functions are coming here for this particular class what i want to do is i want to take rectangle first area of rectangle and it will automatically show which all input parameters are required why i have added this in before the names so that we can understand this is an input parameter now these are the arguments so i am passing 3 and 3 as the value so i hope you understood how to call a python function to call a python function you have to give the class instance and then the function that you are calling or the method that you are calling Another example of calling the python function with parameters, you just have to change this name dot area of cube and then it requires three parameters. So just to keep it simple, four and four, I am taking four four so that we can easily calculate when we are calling these functions. So it requires three parameters. Now the last one. instance of class dot area of circle so now we are calling third python function using python class right how many parameters are required only one parameter radius so let's say the radius is 5 now you can run this program and see the output remember that i will elaborate same program once again in another video so please subscribe to the channel to be connected and learn more about python so before we go ahead there is one correction here when you use the parenthesis then only it is considered as the call okay, now let's run this and see you can see the output here using these functions you can have a look at the output right now and just this and then you can see the functions here so hope you understood like how to create a function and return a value and what is the use of return so use of return in python or in any programming languages once any function or any method does the calculation it gives a output so if you want to use that output somewhere so here we are using the output if you want you can assign this value to some variable also that i have selected right now if you don't want to print you want to print together so let's see that also i will create three variables so right now you can see i have created these three variables and i have assigned those values to these variables now i will just print this you can use these variables or any operations further okay so let's see let's print and hope you do already know the python string formatting that i have explained in other video rectangle area and then you use this to pass variable rect area and then you can just put a comma and again write the text cube area pass the variable cube area here and so area pass the value of circle area now let's run and see the result based on these inputs. I hope you can see the entire program on your screen. Pause the screen if you want to have a look once again before I am running. So you can see values are printed. The rectangle area is 9, cube area is 64, circle area is this. So this is how you can call the functions and after calling the function you can assign the output to variables and you can use that output into 
other operations. So hope you understood three things today. Python functions, how to create a class, how to create a functions inside Python class. What is the use of return in Python or so why do we use a uh, return in Python functions? How can we use Python functions? How can we assign the Python function output to a variable? All right. Stay connected for more videos, hit the like button, share my YouTube channel to your friends that will really help me a lot. Share your feedback in comments. Thank you very much for your time. Happy learnings.